All right, today we are playing as General Warthog in Twisted Metal 4. Let's check out his info here. Looking at his stats alone, not too bad. His handling is only one star, so it's kind of meh. His armor is pretty good at four stars out of five. Special weapon is four stars, and his speed is only two. However, from what I remember playing as him, he does feel a little more sluggish than what these stats are saying, and I don't believe his special weapon is actually that great. But with that, let's jump into it. I feel like it's the same thing with every Twisted Metal, but when it comes to the vehicles being sluggish or slow, I've just never been a big fan of playing as them. Even if the character can actually be really good, like Manslaughter in Twisted Metal Black, for instance. A lot of people seem to really like him. He's got a really strong special and he's got a ton of armor, so, you know, it makes sense as he's a strong character. But when you're playing as a car that can just be outmatched by anybody in terms of their speed and handling, it's just not as fun to play as, at least in my opinion. The only thing that would make me not mind playing a super slow and just non-agile character is if their special weapon is worth it, where it's a really cool, unique special weapon or it just does so much damage that it's just like, all right, I understand why they're sluggish. A good example of that is Calypso in this game. You know, I never thought I would like Calypso or playing as him as the character. But I absolutely love him in TM4, and you guys saw from my playthrough, he's a lot of fun to play as, even if he's super sluggish and not all that great. And that's all because of his special weapon being insanely overpowered. Let's try to use our special here. So that was like a direct hit, basically, and it took only the amount away from... I think their life was at the B in orbital, so very minute chunk. So the only way to get a really good hit is that they drive over your special. That's like the only way to do any damage. And that's why I really don't like his special weapon at all. Because it's just so hard to use. At least uh, like effectively. Like we can try placing in here. Let's see if they actually drive on top of it. Nope. Yeah, see, they, they don't want to go on top of it. I think the AI is smart enough to know not to drive over it. So the only way you're going to get any damage is if you somehow get lucky and they do drive over it or if you did what I did and freeze them first and then put it next to them. But yeah. So I suppose the one good thing about Warthog is his armor. And, you know, just like any other game with Warthog, it's always been his biggest, like best feature is he's just an all around really stacked character in terms of his armor and his special weapon. But sadly, yeah, this time around is just his armor. Which is okay, you know, it, there's a lot of other cars in this game that have really good armor. So, that's just the thing. It's like, why would I choose him when I could choose somebody with the same amount of armor, but they have a, either a better special, or they're just more agile, so it's, they're more fun to play as. I really want to kill him with my special, but I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh. oh, I pushed him too. Great. Oh, all right. Well, I guess he was weak enough to actually did <laughs> actually work. So. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I was just about to say he's about to grab the health up there. I didn't even see it. Wow, we got lucky that we had the fire on him. Those are all gonna miss. I'm gonna save the rest of those for Mr. Crusher. Ion blast. Run it over. Eh, close enough, I guess. I don't think the AI will ever be dumb enough to actually, like, legitimately run it over. Which is a huge bummer, but... Oh well, gonna have to get used to that with this playthrough. <laughs> the remote bombs when they're stronger than your special. <laughs> so stupid. One thing I realized, too, is I don't, just like Calypso, I don't really remember as a kid ever doing a full playthrough as Warthog, so this is technically new for me. I have played him a lot, though, to give him different chances over the years, and yeah, every time it's just not, not really worth it, from what I remember anyway. I would get, like, maybe halfway through the tournament and just kind of get bored and be like, I'm done, I'm switching somebody else. So, yeah, this will be interesting if I'm, to see if I won't be, like, climbing my eyes out by the end of the game. I gotta say, though, his armor is holding up. Like, I, yes, I've been shielding when I need to, but, I mean, at least on the bright side, I haven't really had to grab any health or heals or anything like that. Or feel like I need them.
Bye bye. Hell yeah. I did want to say one thing about my live streams. We had a live stream last night. At the time of this recording, that is. I don't know when this will go live for you guys. I'm going to shoot for Monday, uh, which would be like June 17th? 18th? I don't know the dates off the top of my head. Around there. Uh, so whenever you're seeing this, the live stream obviously already happened. But I wanted to talk about that I just had so much love and support from you guys last night that it was just truly amazing. And I'm super excited to get more into streaming with this channel. I don't know how much I would be streaming in terms of like, I don't think I'll ever make a schedule. You know, I'm going to stream Monday through Friday. You know, I don't think I'll ever do that. Unless for some reason the streams just took off and everybody wanted me to stream every day, then, you know, I might look into that. But for now, I'm definitely doing my Wednesday streams for my Challenge Wednesdays. But I have to let you guys know that very soon coming up for the first week of July, so July 1st through July 8th, I will be gone. I'm going to be up north 20 hours with my family and friends for the 4th of July weekend. So. I won't I will be having videos going live that week though. I'm gonna try to record a ton of stuff prior to leaving and having it set up to go live, you know, while I'm gone. But sadly there will not be a live stream on that Wednesday. So I just wanted to let people know ahead of time. Just, you know, don't be shocked when that happens. I'll always also make a uh, community post and I'll let people know in the Discord and all that too. So just in case, you know, some of them don't see this video. But yeah, coming back to the live streaming, I mean, I've just been absolutely loving it and getting so much support and not only just from people showing up and hanging out, which has been crazy amount of numbers of people. So thank you for that. But also just the people supporting the channel financially. I mean, we just hit 33, I think, 33 members, which is insane. I never in a million years would have thought that could happen, especially on a channel that's small. So... God, I just, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to everybody who's been supporting the channel, either becoming a member or from your donations while I'm streaming, uh, your super chats, you know, all the above. Like, everything just, it means the world to me. You don't, it's never, ever expected. Don't feel like if you're a viewer of mine, you have to pay money to me to keep content coming. That That's not the case at all. Thankfully, I have a full-time job, so I have income flowing in and I'm going to be okay. It's just I like to make content on my free time, and I'm glad people enjoy it. So, but yeah, any extra help, I mean, of course it helps, but I'm putting all that money right back into the channel, whether that be for better equipment, recording stuff, maybe new games in the future. And kind of coming into that, I had a post that went out today in the community section on YouTube that got an amazing amount of reception. I just, I'm, I'm sorry, this is kind of like I'm kissing all your feet today, but... I'm just very thankful for so many people being so generous and I made a post basically asking if it would be okay if one of these days I streamed a different game that's not Twisted Metal and it's not Car Combat, but it's called Trepang 2. It's coming out, I believe, June 21st this year, so very soon, like next week. And when it comes out, I wanted to stream it because by one of my buddies who's actually in the Discord, he's been a super great supporter of the channel. He is one of the lead developers of the game. It's his first ever game launch, and I want to show my support for it. And I already played the demo, absolutely loved it. It's it's my kind of game. I'm a huge FPS fan, and it's kind of like a mix of Fear and Ghost uh, Blade Runner. No, not Blade Runner, Ghost Runner, I think it's called. Where basically you play as like a ninja, and it's just super fast paced, and it's, it's like a rhythm game almost, super cool. So it's like that mixed with Fear. Super cool idea, it's very fun frantic, gory, you know, the whole shebang. And uh, I asked you guys, would that be okay if I stream that? And I was expecting like at least 50% of you to be like, nah, you know, I'm not going to watch that. Your channel's Twisted Metal now. If you make any other content that's not Twisted Metal, I'm out of here. And I totally would understand that. Like, truthfully, I'm not saying that as like, I expected that because you guys are arrogant. No, I, it, it, I straight up understand that. It's how content works. You know, you guys subscribe to my channel for a reason, you know, for Twisted Metal stuff. And if I completely change from that content, I would understand people leaving and, you know, losing what I have. So it's one of those things where, like, no, I'm not going to change the content up completely. I'm not going to stop making Twisted Metal content and just switch to other stuff. It was it's just going to be like a one off stream just to give it a try. And yeah, so many people were so generous and saying, like, yeah, dude, do it. You know, I'm here for you. Not necessarily what you play, but as long as you're doing it, you know, I'll be watching. And yeah, that just, uh, that means the world to me. So thank you, sincerely. 
I think that's the way to do it. Kind of like a remote bomb. Holy shit, he went flying. So instead of freezing them, just kind of like play chicken with them, run by the sides of them, and then just let the special go off. Or I could do this. Just back up and... Oh, uh, he stopped though. But that might be an idea. Where if I just go in reverse and they chase me, I can let my special go and they'll blow up on it. Bye bye. This will be interesting with the moon buggy. Luckily, he's a bigger vehicle, so I should be able to get some direct hits with my special. But obviously, the downside is I gotta get pretty close to him to do that. I think that was a direct hit, but it didn't seem like it. But he also has a lot of health, too, so that could definitely be a part of that. Oh, you little weasel. He missed my freeze, too. Bastard. Yeah, I got more where that's come from, bitch. Microblast his ass! I have a, I have like a hundred of these. What? Where'd they all come from? It's hard to aim these though. What are you doing? <laughs> Just ring around the rosy. There we go. Who microblasts his ass? Come at me, bro. I mean, even though that that had to have been a, a direct hit, right? Like it did not. It does not seem like it does much damage at all. Especially with how big the explosion is, you'd really expect it to do more damage. Like, almost the same as Calypso's, right? Ooh, that completely missed? You're kidding me. Man, his special is so terrible. I'm really curious. Is there anybody out there that likes playing as Warthog in this game? Like, they deliberately choose to play as him? Because I... I don't know why. He's, he's basically... It's the same argument as uh, Mr. Oh my god, bro. As uh, Captain Grimm in this game. Can you stop circling me? Nice. It's actually faster than the missile. But as I was saying before she really interrupted me, it's just kind of the same uh, argument as Captain Grimm in this game, where, like, they brought back, you know, a really famous, popular character from the series, but it's just a weak bastardized version of them <laughs> no one wants to play as them and i'm not gonna say warthog is weak in this game i mean obviously he's strong and his armor out you know in terms of how much damage he can take but with how weak his special is in terms of just everything with it <laughs> i don't know i just and he's also super slow his handling is very sluggish probably one of the most sluggish in the game it just he's not fun to play as I will give praise, though, to the designer, whoever made Warthog's design in this game. I may have given it a little bit of shit in my tier list, and I kind of want to retract that a little bit. I think he looks pretty cool. Clearly, it's just a World War I tank. I mean, there's nothing too special about it. But seeing this kind of tank in Twisted Metal just feels so weird, but it makes sense, I guess. It, it does fit Twisted Metal, so I don't know. I like the look of it. I like seeing the treads go around the entire body of it. Looks pretty dope. So that is that is definitely a positive for Warthog. Damn, Goggle Eyes had no chance, dude. Oh, and then freaking Joneses comes out of nowhere and takes my kill. Oh, that gives me an idea. You could use teleporters, so I could go through a teleporter, lay my bomb, wait for them to come through, and then set it off. So that could work. So today is Thursday, and. Tomorrow's upload, which by the time you guys see this video will already have happened, you'll already, you've already seen it, hopefully, uh, is going to be Meter Maid's playthrough. And in that playthrough, I asked a question about cheesing bosses in this game, where, you know, there's different exploits, like with the remote bombs and with the proximity bombs and with lightning and stuff like that. And I asked a question about you know, should I not use those exploits anymore to make the gameplay more interesting so it's not as super dumb and cheesy and super quick? And obviously, because that video has not gone live yet, as of today's recording, uh, I don't know what you guys' answers to that is. So, 
with this playthrough and probably the next few, because I'm going to record a couple today, sadly, because uh, I need to get these videos ready to go for this weekend and stuff, because I'm going to be gone all weekend, so I can't do any recording and editing and all that stuff. So sadly, for the next few playthroughs, those, your comments will not be taken into consideration. I truly apologize. It's not by, that is by far not to be on purpose. I'm not ignoring you guys. So if most of you say, yes, you should ignore the, uh, what are the words, the exploits, you know, so to make the gameplay more interesting, I really do apologize because I promise that will happen probably because I think, yeah, there's no way I'm going to get through enough playthroughs tonight to where I get to the boss characters. But definitely when I make it to the boss characters, uh, those playthroughs will have those comments into consideration. So whatever you guys, whatever I see the most of is what I'll go with. You know, so if most of you don't give a shit and you're like, keep doing what you're doing, I will. Um, but if there is mostly people saying, yeah, don't do the exploits, then yeah, that'll start changing once those uh, characters start getting played. Oh, nice sniper shot. Those are always so satisfying. I was going to say, well, how did the other two not blow up, dude? Man's cheesing it. I was, really? What? That did no damage to him. That's actually crazy. Oh, he's going to kill himself. Actually, Pizza Boy saved him. Nice. Bye bye. I probably should have said that for Super Thumper to be honest, but that was more funny. He's probably going for health right now. Alright. He has so much health. It's wild. Uh, here we go. Out of lobs. Oh, yeah. Those will take away that health. Oh, Lord. Missed my freaking nice. Make sure he doesn't get that. Not have a special. That kind of sucks. Ah, really, dude? No! I wonder if the lighting will get him. Damn it. I thought maybe. Well, we're going to have to blast his ass. Hate to do it to him. Oh, no. I didn't mean to put that one down. Well. Oh, he just drove over it. They actually did it. Okay. So the, the AI can drive over it. I just have to be quick enough to launch it or to set it off. Also, if this video does go up on a Monday, I think it'll be okay to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on what's going to be coming. So... On Wednesday that week, I'm going to have the tier list for Twist Metal 2 levels going up. I was kind of surprised that the first video of TM1 levels, the tier list, didn't get too much recognition. I mean, it still did pretty good in terms of numbers, but compared to my other tier lists, like, I, I expected that one to be a ton of success. So I'm kind of curious, like, do you guys think that the tier list stuff, you know, is kind of meh? Like, is that content not really that that great? Because if that's the case, you know, if nobody really cares about it, I there's no really reason for me to keep making them. i just been making them because I thought that's what people subscribe for. And then i just make making the playthroughs because I love playing through the games. <laughs> but it's one of those things where, like, you know, those those videos, believe it or not, take, like, twice as long to make compared to just uh, a playthrough because the editing that goes into those and to get all the footage for the different levels and the different characters or whatever kind of tool list I'm doing, yeah, it takes a good, like... So, for instance, this playthrough will take me about an hour to record, and then in about eh, 30 minutes to edit. They're, they're pretty quick edits. It doesn't take very long. I just kind of skim through the video, look for obvious spots where I stutter or I mess up, cut them out, cut out the blankness, the boring parts, and then just, you know, set it free. Whereas the tier lists, you know, I do a full recording, which is sometimes like 40 minutes long, and then I cut it down to like a 15, 20 minute video. And then I have to go and record the footage for each level or each character. And that takes anywhere from like an hour to maybe an hour and a half. And then to edit that all together with different transitions and stuff and to put them in the right spots, that's a good two, two hour process to maybe three hours of editing. So it's a lot more work that goes into those. So it's one of those things where like, 
if people don't really care about them anymore, you know, I'm not going to put myself through that, I guess that makes sense. So I am curious to hear what you guys think of that. Um, if it's something I should keep doing or if, you know, I've already done the, the tier list on the characters and that's what people cared about. Oh, Joneses twice in a row. Thank you. Actually letting me get a full hit on you. And even then, I think that should have been an insta kill, but it's just not that strong. Bye bye. I hate you, meter maid. <laughs> I think that hurt me more than it hurt her. There's Quattro. Pizza Boy's almost dead. I don't know where he went. Oh shit, is he getting health? No. Wait, what? Pizza Ghost? Hello? That first one went right through him, though. That was weird. I think Meter Maid took the health, I think, yeah, because I know there was one over there. But it was gone before Pizza could get it, so that is what it is. What? Okay, there we go. Bye-bye. Oh, that felt good. I hate her so much. I like playing as her, but going against her, my god, she is annoying. Wow. Another thing I had a question about as well is with my live streams, you guys may have noticed, at least I hope you did, that, geez, bro, it took half my health immediately. I, I guess when you spam specials, it'll do that to you. My god. Oh, god. what was I talking about? With, um, yeah, with my, my live streams, you guys probably noticed that I uploaded a couple videos, like standalone videos, that were clipped from my live streams that I just edited down into kind of like bite-sized little videos. And it seems like from the comments at least, it's they've been pretty positive. A lot of people were happy I did that because they couldn't make it to the streams. But I wanted to also remind you guys that the live streams are always going to be on my channel available to view whenever. So if you can't make it to a stream, just go to my channel, click on the little live area at the very top next to videos, or I think it's uploads, it's one of the two. And you will see every single VOD uh, from my live stream history. So you can watch the full stream if you like. But on top, but of course, you know, not everybody has time to go through a whole VOD to watch the whole stream. So would you like me to continue doing that where I make little snippet videos, I guess, from my live streams? where I call them snippet videos. I mean, they were like 20 minute videos, but you know what I'm talking about. Just like sections from the streams that I feel are were kind of noteworthy in a sense. Because uh, if that's the case, you know, I definitely will continue doing that in the future. Wait, what? Why is it not hitting you? Bruh. That's only a little annoying. Sweet, I had a ton of those worked out it's so funny you can just ram people <laughs> I, w I wish this game had ram damage though like I'm I'm really glad it does not take damage from you if you run into walls and stuff I've I always found that really stupid in the first two games but three and four they're really lacking in the ram department for doing damage to people because man that would that would honestly negate a lot of the issues I have with auger or uh, with oh, Augur. <laughs> no, it would not. I still hate Augur. But it would negate a lot of the issues I have with Warthog in this game if he could just ram people and do a ton of damage because he's a literal tank. So that would have been cool. But sadly, that's just not the case. Man, that was a little bit late. A little delayed. But I swear remote bombs do more damage than my special does, dude. That makes no sense. And they have a bigger blast radius. It's just certain balancing things in this game that... And I get that, you know, with balancing, especially when you have so many different characters. All that comes down to playtesting and Q&A. So it's like, if you don't have the time to do that, you know, you're crunching last minute and you have to send it out, I get it. That stuff's going to get overlooked and stuff's going to be unbalanced. But, man, it's just such a bummer how weak his special is it just it could have it could have been a cool idea i wouldn't have minded having it being basically a remote bomb if it actually was stronger than a remote bomb 
Same with freaking Mr. Grimm's, man. If a special was just a little bit cooler than a glorified ricochet bomb, I would actually say it's decent if it did decent damage. But it just doesn't. It's stupid. Why am I going against Meter Man like every map, though? Like, no joke. Nah, you're not going to suck me. Not today. I don't have enough shield. Shit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Finally got a kill with my special. Feels good. Oh, that was stupid. What was I? <laughs> I was not thinking there. <laughs> Holy lord. What's up, everybody? Ow. Do I have a special? Why would I? Yeah, dude. Remote bombs do more damage than my special. That's so ridiculous. It's just like the auto lob. It's like, why is the auto lob a regular weapon and not a special weapon? Because that thing does so much damage. More than half of the people's specials in this game. It's just crazy. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, stay right there. <laughs> Dre Queen comes out of nowhere. I was like, no, I'll take the hit. I respect it, though. I'd save my boy Pizza Boy, too. Hashtag pizza boy love forever. Pains me every time I gotta kill him, man. He's so cool. Oh man. There we go. Bye bye. How did that miss? What? Just micro blast their ass. Let's go. Okay, burn to death. Microblast their ass as well. Now we got Quattro. Do I have any remote bombs? I do. So we can cheese Mr. Axe, but... What's up, bro? Come here. Ooh. Wanna go? Sweet. Two... Oh, I screwed up. That's probably not gonna kill him. And I... I'm an idiot. Oh my god. I might have gotten lucky, but I don't think it's gonna kill him. Oh, I got lucky. Usually, if if you're if you move even a millimeter without putting all three down, uh, usually it for some reason the power just isn't increased like it normally is. So thank God. Man, the game is lagging already so much. There's only three people here. There's not even a, a goggle eyes. What the hell? It just kills the show. Like, this map is so massive, it just cannot handle this game. <laughs> oh! Yes, Micro Penis. Thank you so much. Why do I feel like that the first time any human has ever said that sentence out loud? Ow. You know, why are you in every level right now? Like, why? Is that just a thing? If you play as Warthog, you have to go against her? They're just, they're just a tandem, like, enemies, or what, it, what would that be called? Like, arch enemies? I'm gonna take you out first, because I hate you, and you're annoying. All I have is napalms. Aw, oh, no freeze, feels bad. No, come back here. I know you're trying to go to health, but come back. Damn it, I was trying to put a firewall in front of him. I need weapons. Okay, where is she? Where'd she go? I'm sorry? What? Did she just... Did she just go kill herself? What the fuck? I'm so lost right now. I, the game cannot handle it either. Nice. Got micro penis out of here and meter bitch. Cool. I did not mean to do that. that oh, I got so lucky I didn't fall off the map. 
Got to remember. So in order to cheese these guys, I cannot destroy those walls back there. Bank shot. What are you doing? Trying to swerve? You think I'm going to miss? That didn't happen today. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. Woo! I'm always afraid I don't have enough energy before that happens, and I'm just like, well, now I'm just going to fall slowly to my death. Yippee. Which clips will come down here? I want to fight him. There's trash, man. What were you doing over there, bud? You weren't opening these doors down here, were you? Doesn't look like it. Come here, bud. Uh, I don't really have anything I can use. I guess this technically. Wait for him to drive forward a little bit. See, like, it's, it's random. Like, sometimes it'll do decent damage. But it, it just, it feels so random. I don't have any freeze missiles, which sucks. Sweet. See the actually makes us jump. They've been getting good at it, apparently. Okay, that guy wasn't. Are you going to be good at this jump this time, Augur? Because you're the one that always seems to make the jump out of nowhere now. No idea why. Oh, thank God. First try. Oh, let's go. You know what we're going to do today? Honestly, I'm only doing this because I am, like, super tired already of playing as this guy. <laughs> it's really sad, but it's so true. He's just not fun to play as at all. Like, the game is fine. Like, it's not... Like, T TM4 is great. I have a great time with this game. But when you're being held back by a horrible character... Uh, yeah. Here we go. Jeez. It is wild how much damage that, <laughs> that lightning can do. Actually insane. Bye-bye, minion. Hell yeah, dude. I love that exploit so much. Oh, that... <laughs> that doesn't feel good. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, where is my special? I guess it was over there? What? That's one of those moments I'm going to have to rewatch the when I'm editing the gameplay. I'm going to be like, wait, when did I set that down? Because I don't even think I drove over there. <laughs> Weird ass shit. The other day we were having a conversation in the Discord about this. And I was wondering, I know that there's a portraits in here, but do they show the names underneath? And, oh, they don't. Because we're trying to figure out what's the names of each one of these clowns. Like, obviously that's Melvin. And then I think... There was another one named Kelvin or something. I don't know. Did I already get him unlocked? Where is it? There's one with like a blue hat. Nope, not that guy. Maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know. Did not seem like it worked that much. But again, I might have been delayed on that. It seems like with his special, it's actually a little delayed when you hit the trigger. Compared to, like, the remote bomb, the millisecond you hit that button, it explodes. But it feels like Warthog special, you hit the button, and it takes about a solid second to get detonated, which is really annoying. That might be the emulator, though. It might not be the game. I, I don't know. Hard to say sometimes. Oh, did not, did not mean to detonate that, but oh well. Hey, it works. Hell yeah. Damn it, he fell. <laughs> Worth it. 
I know in this video I didn't really talk a whole lot about different topics. I didn't really have a whole lot to talk about. And it's gonna get even worse with more videos that I have to <laughs> I have to record tonight because usually you know I take a couple days in between my recordings so I have some new topics to talk about. Uh, but I hope you guys have been you know not really hating my commentary on just the gameplay of what's happening. I've been getting a little better about it. Especially live streaming has been helping a ton because I don't want to have any lulls while I'm, people are watching live. So I'm getting better about talking more about what what I'm doing and my thought process and all that stuff. So hope you guys have been noticing that. Oh jeez. Oh, I was a little too close for comfort. Oh, someone got hit. Someone's behind me. Is it Pizza Boy? It is. What are you doing, bro? This is this is my house. Can I freeze him? We got two people up here. We're gonna get a double train hit? Wait, hold on. No! It might still hit Pizza Boy. I think I think trash trash guy fell though. That sucks. I wanted both of them to get by the freaking roller coaster. Two big boys battle to the death. Who's gonna take who's gonna take home the gold? Oh, he's running away. Looks like Warthog is the victor. I didn't even realize we're going against a micro penis. I haven't seen him yet. I think, oh, uh, he must be stuck in that loop. Looks like he just got out of it now. That's so weird with this map. Sometimes the AI just gets stuck in that loop of just infinitely going to the middle, jumping in the teleporter, and just rinse and repeat. I don't know why that is. Get him, Mervs. Get him. Wrong guy, Merv. There you go. Come on, get him. There we go. That was a good direct hit. What, dude? That went right through him. Microblast is such a pain to go against. I swear to God. All right. Let's try to get there before he spawns. Yes, we're good. Sweet. Later, loser. Wee! <laughs> That'll never not be funny. I hate him so much. If you guys have seen my been at my live streams or watched the vods, like you know how much trouble he gives me in my live streams. So it's always fun when I can exploit him. Left, right, left, company. Oh, General Warthog, driver of the tank Trojan. You've taken the standards for strength, strategy, logistics, and bravery above and beyond those found in the annals of war. You are hereby awarded for your display of will and courage in the face of a greater enemy and an unforgiving environment. One wish made possible by the kindness and intelligence and strength of Sweet Tooth. The General wants the most powerful army ever amassed in the history of war. And General Warthog will lead that army to many, many glorious victories. General Warthog will rule over all the world's battlefields. Granted. Ha! Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> now, I've I had a conversation with somebody the other day on the Discord about that ending, and they they didn't they deliberately did not understand how that ending made sense. They just thought that they completely forgot about what his original wish was, and they just randomly made up an ending. But to be honest, I think the ending makes sense. I think it is smart. It's a it's a play on his words. So all he really gives Calypso, or sorry, Sweet Tooth, Melvin, whatever, all he really says is, I want to rule the greatest army the world has ever seen, basically. That's, that's basically what he said. I don't know the exact words, but... And so what they did is they turn him into a toy where he's basically ruling... Sarge's heroes, you know, the old green army men. So that's kind of the joke. And it might have been because that game came out around this time as well, which, by the way, it's super underrated game, super fun. But anyway, that's my take on it. So I always found that ending to be funny. Even as a kid, I thought that was funny. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just, you know, looking for an answer to something that doesn't make any sense. I have no idea. That's it for my playthrough of Warthog through TM4. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to leave like to show your support. As always, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified when the next one goes up. And we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out.
Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. Before we head out, I want to give a huge special thank you to our channel members. These are amazing people who are wanting to support the channel and the content here. And if you want to do the same, you can click the little join button underneath every single new upload. And a becoming channel member not only supports me and the channel, but also gives you a ton of perks in doing so, including early access to new content and being a part of exclusive polls and information that other people would not be able to access. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you again so much for the love and support, and we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out.